So what I'm about to do, I do not enjoy. Um, I don't like swatting at media figures for saying provocative, offensive things, especially when the one saying provocative, offensive things is somebody whose name rhymes with Schmen Schmeck. Uh, but I can't let this one go. Here's what happened uh, when a woman named Denise called into Glenn Beck's radio show earlier this week to allege that there's something shady going on with the highly esteemed nonpartisan veterans group, Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Here's what Denise had to say. Let's go to Denise in New York. Hello, Denise. I'm an Iraqi vet, and I was invited to go march in the parade in New York on Veterans Day. And the organization that invited me was the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. So they treated us like royalty, literally. They gave us breakfast, lunch, dinner, a spread like you wouldn't believe. And I questioned, I'm like, wow, where did they get the money for all this? And I went ne the next day, I checked them out online, and uh, come to find out, that they're actually funded by moveon.org, which mm. totally shocked me. I told my boyfriend, I said, you are not going to believe what I found out today. George Soros has his hands even in the military, mm -hmm. in our American military. Now, I have worked in radio. I understand the pressure of that giant chasm of time that needs to be filled with something to talk about. And when that something comes in the form of an allegation involving one of your favorite boogeymen, as George Soros is to Glenn Beck, uh, I, you know, I'm sure it's more than tempting. But when that something involves talking smack about an esteemed and worthy institution like Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of America, there really is only one appropriate response. It is not the one that Glenn Beck had. What they're doing is they are creating the misery and they're coming out and they're organizing all of these people under the guise of labor unions or something as as innocuous as sounding as a, as a, you know the Iraqi and Afghanistan Veterans Foundation but it is Soros and uh communist and uh radical money and they are tying and duping people in as much as they can and so that way, if you trust them, if you didn't go out and do your homework, if you weren't skeptical, you would trust them. And they would say, hey, you got to stand up and stand with us on this issue. And you'd be used. You already were. You're absolutely right. And that's the, that's the amazing thing is that people don't realize they treat, they wine and dine people to oh, the yeah. point where they treat you so good. How yeah. could you ever say anything bad about them? And Denise, when people are hungry... And this kind of money is available, and they wine and dine, and they treat you right, and they show you a piece of the good life. How many people will be duped by it and just take it because it's better than the alternative? Denise, exactly. thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you so much for standing guard. Thank you so much for standing guard against these communists masquerading as a veterans organization that are using you for their communist purposes. Thank you for standing guard against these communists who are duping you, these communists over at Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of America. There are people all over, all over America today who, who listen to Glenn Beck, who now believe that IAVA is a communist front group because Glenn Beck said so. IAVA is not a communist front group. They do not feed veterans who march in parades with them as part of a communist plot to dupe veterans into becoming communists. They do not take money from Move On or from any other Fox News boogeymen more boogie-ish than me. But even if they did, it would still be the patriotic equivalent of a mortal sin to do what Glenn Beck did this week when he randomly and at length and in totally made up detail launched this 100% false attack on Iraq and Afghanistan veterans of America, a nonpartisan group that does nothing wrong and does nothing like what all Glenn Beck's listeners now think they do. I generally try to be of good cheer when it comes to people being dumb in the media, but this is more than just dumb. This is disgusting. Leave the veterans alone.